is that? <laughs> Mona Lisa. <laughs> Really? It doesn't look like Mona Lisa. It looks like uh, somebody else. Yeah, because eye. Mona Lisa got my teeth, right? Hi everyone, welcome to the latest episode of Pizza Studio. Now you know series, where each of us takes turn to present an informative show where we all learn something new. Because learning is something lifelong. After the presentation, please join us for the quiz to test yourself on the new topic. Today, we have my twin sister over here, Afika, to take us to today's presentation. And she will be presenting to us about... Different types of traditional art mediums. So what is a medium? So in art, medium refers to the substance the artist uses to create a piece of artwork. The medium can be used in other contexts within the art world as well. Okay, so throughout art history, people have been using various materials to express themselves. So, this is the different type of mediums. Hafiz, uh, you appeared pain. Mona Lisa. <laughs> sorry, <Yeah>. sorry. <laughs> Wasted. That's why I changed the Mona Lisa. You never tell me. <laughs> okay, you can, can, can continue. You didn't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> the first medium we have is tempera. Tempera is a term that uh, stands from paint mixed with pigment and egg yolk, which is used back in the first century. It is a fast drying and a long lasting medium. All paint contains linseed oil and pigment, and it takes a much longer drying time for artists to over. Yeah, Fika, just now you mentioned that tempera has has egg yolk inside. Yeah. Then, then how do they like keep it like fresh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not rotting. <laughs> not rotting yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's like technically no, raw. They, they mix egg yolk with something else. What was the other thing? What pigment. Oh, like color and is the water. Egg yolk, la. Water and like one one drop of like like a special kind of vinegar. Oh. oh. Yeah. I think you will preserve you will preserve it. <laughs> yeah. Probably, probably. That's how the Mona Lisa was painted actually using tempera. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. So Maybe. acrylic paint is a much more faster medium uh, as opposed to oil painting. And once they dry, they become water resistant. And you can dissolve acrylic paint with water before you apply it on the canvas. Applying painting with acrylic allows artists to add layers or textures to the artwork, enhancing glossiness and giving a bit of a depth to them, achieving, achieving a matte effect on their paintings. So watercolour is can be quite challenging for beginners in the art world. So many artists love watercolours because of their seemingly endless colour palette. So when you apply water to them, you can see like the different result that it gives. So gouache is like a hybrid between watercolour and acrylic paint. It's the medium that I like. So yeah, it's quite a fun medium to experiment with with gouache since it's you can just like dilute it with water and somehow uh, play around with the opacity. This is the different types of paint that I I used before. Yeah. So we have here this like very portable um, watercolor. It's in a pot. So wherever you go, you just bring the palette and just bring a cup of water and you're just set to go. And we have the Winston Newton oil colour. We have Schmink watercolour. All of these brands, uh, they do have their own ranges of like their own oil colour, uh, their own gouache, their own watercolour as well. So you can try and like experiment it by yourself. My go-to paint will be Schmink and Holbein. The consistency with the way you paint it is very like creamy and very satisfying uh, when you paint it on paper. Mm. So we also have Winsor Newton inks as well. 
uh, when you have to do like outlines or maybe just like a wash on whatever kind of illustrations you have. So we have Vincent van Gogh, he's a very popular artist. If you've seen this, the Starry Night, so he's a Dutch impressionist painter who became one of the most influential figures in the Western art history. So he focuses on landscapes, still lives, self-portraits, and very expressive kind of work in his paintings. So these are the dry mediums. So we have ink and pen, which is used for centuries. Ink is great for creating solid uh, outlines, but must be used with a steady hand and great care, as there is no way to erase the ink. It can be used to create uh, intricate graphic art, as well as text-based forms, such as calligraphy for centuries. Uh, for graphite pencils, it is used by fine artists in France during the 17th century, so it is great for outlining compositions, creating sketches, or even applying shading to your artwork. For charcoal, charcoal is another different art medium that's been used uh, by the earliest days of human art. So fire has been a part of the human development and culture for a lo very long time. So charcoal is always there for artists to somehow have uh, to sketch out anything that they want and it can be easily erased so if you are planning to try it you have to have a fixative in hand yeah. so for oil pastels it is a pigment that is quite similar with oil paints and it's created by mixing these pigments with a binding material so for color pencils I'm pretty sure we all know um, how to use them <laughs> so because we grew up with it so it is a great way to have color in your drawings and to you can also like somehow like blend over like two different like many different colors at the same time so, um, we have the uh, basic micron pens yeah then we have like a more calligraphic uh, Japanese Kurut I cannot pronounce the name <laughs> I always butcher names Kurut I have no idea I cannot pronounce Eyeliner Eyeliner <laughs> Yeah, eyeliner <laughs> Yeah, then we have like the basic uh, mass Lumograph Stadler um, Yeah Stadler pencils and the basic uh, pental oil pastels. Yeah, so James Jean is one of my favorite artists. James Jean, he's a Taiwanese American visual artist working primarily in painting and drawing. So he's a cover artist for DC Comics and Marvel Comics after he graduated from um, his art school. So he he already received like several awards throughout his career and he works with many uh, well-known brands like Time Magazine, The New York Times, uh, Rolling Stone, Prada and so forth. Yeah, so this one is from My Chemical Romance Blackberry and he also worked with movie posters uh, he worked with Blade Runner, starring Ryan Gosling, and he worked with uh, the movie called Mother, starring Jennifer Lawrence. Oh. And this is recently his work, which I heard is the movie is quite good, but I haven't watched it. So, yeah, maybe you guys should check it out. Yeah, maybe we should watch together one of yeah. our team bonding session. <laughs> I will take note of this. Yeah, so this is Kim Jong Gi. He's also quite popular. He's a Korean artist. He enrolled at a fine art school majoring in art and design. So he attended Dong Yi University in Busan for three years and did two years in the South 
Korean Army as part of the Special Forces Unit. So he's able to render extremely complicated scenes and um, draw very perfectly from memory. So when he's in his uh, army, he actually tried to memorize like all the different weapons and vehicles that he saw during his army days. Yeah, so his very notable creative asset is his memory, something he has de developed over a number of years. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Thank you. Where go Africa? Oi! Twin sister! Imposter, imposter. There's an imposter okay. in the house! Okay. Question okay. Yes! Uh, uh, yes! Uh, Business uh, now! Uh, wow, what does What medium does medium mean? The, the awareness of a stick. Eh? That's okay. Oh. Wow. Ever got it correct? Name any paint mediums. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, paint. Uh. I don't know how to spell them. Uh. <laughs> it's wrong, eh? My one wrong. Why, why temper? <laughs> Tempura. Because <laughs> they, put, they put the fish, right? <laughs> they want tempura. <laughs> yeah, they want tempura, bro. Um, <laughs> which brand of paint is the best brand? Hey, oh. hey. Oh, no, ma. It's subjective. <laughs> yeah, it's subjective. <laughs> but. <laughs> I don't even know any one of them. <laughs> I, I think I know where this is going. Is this one of your favorite? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just now she mentioned that. Uh, she uh, showed the five pictures and she yeah. mentioned. I, I know one of these Whoa. is her favorite lah. This, this. I just I just clicked and uh, I don't even remember what she said. <laughs> okay, this <laughs> one must must, must put the, uh, the, the disclaimer lah to her lah, right? <laughs> Which thing takes a longer time to dry? Your fault for putting timer timer. Longer time to dry. Oh, correct ah. Oh, ah. Wait. Oil paint. Let's see. Who didn't get? Me. Indra. <laughs> I select like the acrylic because acrylic got 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 plastic, right? <laughs> what, what, what? Okay. Acrylic yeah. is the one of the faster ones, right? Yeah, it's faster. Yeah, I don't know. What kind of artist is James Jean? I want this American. Oh, no. Singer. <laughs> Premier Pro? Yes. Ah. Oh, bye, yeah. Who didn't answer? I click. I click Ooh, on the. Avika. Avika. I click okay, on contemporary. Avika, Avika, Avika. 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 She's the one that made the quiz, right? Question six. Question. Which type of paint is considered a hybrid? Huh? <laughs> hybrid programming. <laughs> <laughs> is it acrylic, gouache, or poster color? Who is this one? Try, try, try! Run! No! Nobody no. no. getting it! Oh, I got two! I put poster color. Who put. I didn't uh, even gouache? say poster color, you know? Who put gouache? Oh, okay. It's gouache. <laughs> See, Afrika disappointed. Gouache, I'm yeah. sorry. I <laughs> put poster color. Who put. I didn't uh, even gouache? say poster color, you know? <laughs> Who put gouache? Oh, okay. It's gouache. <laughs> See, Afrika disappointed. Gouache, I'm yeah. sorry. Gouache. <laughs> gouache. <laughs> gouache. <laughs> Okay, question seven. Name one of the dry mediums. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's not okay. Okay, okay. Alternative names, can I? Alternative? No. Like what? Uh, alternative, like what? <laughs> like, uh, like what? Arang. Arang, is it? <laughs> no, no. Okay, not uh, arang. <laughs> okay, and arang means the thing that you use to, to barbecue the food. Which is charcoal uh, in Malay. Charcoal in Malay is arang. I put I put charcoal. Eh. Uh oh. Yeah, like that crayon. Ah. The ones. Oh crayon. Yeah. Eh. Crayon is pastel, right? That's just yeah. because you look at my my my, my username. Hmm? No la. <laughs> yeah, yeah, What's your name? I thought your one is Kenyan. Okay, question A. Alright. Kim Jung Gi mainly uses inks and markers. True or false? Oh, okay, this one I'm not sure. <laughs> Because this is all black and white. Yeah. True. Should be la. Yeah. Should yeah. Be la. Maybe it, should, it might be a trick question. They put the picture and see you know, never show the the other other ads for me. I'll come what more was than the you, band James Jean worked with? 
Eh, but it's not just it's not just oh, that man. one, one, right? I it's saw the bad. other. There's another one also. For BTS. Yeah, I got linking part also. Alright. Hey, we vote BTS. I, or I didn't. Actually, never for BTS. <laughs> BTS also, right? BTS. Also. Yeah, BTS also. Oh. What kind of work did Van Gogh paint? Oh, wow. Surrealism. Surrealism. Yeah, okay, so many. Two, four, two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 it's uh, multiple, lah. <laughs> 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 Africa, the highest. Okay. Africa, no bad. Africa, no bad. No bad. This is the highest since, since for this more. season. For this season. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. For this season. It's still better. It's still higher. Okay. Hope you guys learn a thing or two about this topic. Check out this channel for other interesting content. If you have any comments, leave it down below. Remember to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified. Thank you and bye bye. Bye. <laughs>